Flight bus, bitch. You know, for sure. You're now listening to the mind of an Terry's Moon. I'm the Archangel Uriel, and I'm here to carry out God duties and motherfucking responsibilities. And right now, you know what I'm saying? I'm still not 100%, but I'm still not being stopped. <laughs> so right now, I just want to freestyle some shit. I want to do uh, uh, flight metaphysics real quick. And you know what I'm saying? I want to just, uh, shit. Let's just talk about the elements. You know what I'm saying? I want to talk about the motherfucking elements. You know what I'm saying? Now, the elements... Now, we all know it consists of earth, wind, fire, air. My bad. Earth, water, fire, air. I say wind, that's the same thing as air. Now, astrology and astronomy is two different things. Astronomy is the mathematics. Is the, uh, the mathematics behind um, the planets and the way things work. And astrology is the energy behind it. So... On a smaller scale, we could kind of say that astrology is right-brained and astronomy is left-brained. Tell me I'm lying. <laughs> now, when we want to break it down now, if we want to talk about left brain, fire is electricity. You know what I'm saying? Water is um, liquid. You know what I'm saying? Earth is solids. And air is um, um, yeah, it's basically air. Whatever y'all y'all know what the fuck it is. <laughs> now, um, now the whole point of me saying that is because when we get to etheric, we want to uh, you know what I'm saying you want to say the elements holds our creation, and it holds the way everything works. You know what I'm saying? So, the beauty that I'm saying is right. On the simplest term, yang is left, left brain. Yin is right brain. So, when we want to break down the elements. What is fire? Fire, now, I'm going I'm to I'm throw out some words. I'm going to throw out the shuns, some shuns, the T-I-O-N-S. You know what I'm saying? Just for the sake of this holds the prestige within the English language. So me tying the elements to these words of be best understood with this with these sigils. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't like casting spells on people. But you know, for the sake of this video, I'm gonna be throwing out some shin words. Now, the first one, fire. Fire. Fire is creation. Water. Water is imagination. Air. Communication. Earth. Foundation. Now, all these need to be put to work. If you want to put them in order, put them in order. Fire. The creation first. Earth. The foundation out of the creation. Air. Then the communication within the creation. Then water, the imagination within the creation. So say you want to break it down back to Genesis days, how humans was created. You know what I'm saying? You want to talk about humans, right? Now, the initial fire was the initial spark. That was the spirit. That was the vitality. That was the initial energy. Everything in this world is energy, frequency, and vibrations. Now, this is what fire signs rely on. Now what's next? After that initial spark, something physical came. You know what I'm saying? Something you can see, taste, touch, smell, hear now. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know what I'm saying? It's physical now. So what came out of that spark manifested into something and now that something grows that something knows it's here. That something is on something. You know what I'm saying? It's founded on something. That whatever that is built on after being here and stabilized and slowly progress. What does that on earth? Flowers. 
What relates to flowers? Earth signs. This is a natural awareness of earth signs. Now, the communication. What was that? What was that? What? Oh. Now, my daughter up there playing. Now, let's talk about the communication now. You're seeing things. You're touching things. You're looking at things and seeing what it is. You're trying to understand it. You're trying to learn it. You're communicating with it. That's air. You're the breath of life put in to that physical thing that came out of the creation. And now that thing was stabilized. Now I got the breath of life. Air. Abstract now. These are natural qualities of air signs. Now, once you start to understand things and see things and try to understand it for what it is, it gains feelings about it now. It's the situation that it's in start to, start to gain emotional awareness about it. Because if you in a circle, say you a person, for an example, you a person in jail, that situation and that circumstance start to become a burden on you. And you start to feel a certain way about being in that situation. Same way if you are a millionaire, being a millionaire, you start to build an emotional awareness around it. And you start to like being in that realm of reality. Now, key word, attach. You absorb the situation. You feel. Key word, another key word. You feel. These are natural things that the water signs do. You know what I'm saying? So now, breaking that all down now, how they all relate to each other is how actually everything come about. And to manifest anything, you need to you need to apply, even if you're a person who have low water in a chart or, or low air in a chart, you still have to apply, you still have to apply these natures in your own unique way in order to manifest what you need to manifest. So if you need to watch someone else or you need to uh, read, read books or whatever you have to do to get where you have to go, that's what you're here to do. That's what you have squares in your chart for which a square is a learning process. The world. The world isn't the universe. The world isn't even Earth. Earth, the, the world is a consciousness wave that a, a, a group of own separate consciousness agree on. So that right there tell you that we create what we all can agree on. So when we letting others out here dictate for us what we should agree on, you're living in a dis uh, you're living in a disjustice of your own being as a I am yourself already. So no matter what program you in, you want to talk about sinning in a religion program, you never stop sinning. Regardless of how you, your perception of how you look at what sinning is and whoever taught you what was sinning. Scientifically you're not going against your will. You know what I'm saying? You're basically doing what you're supposed to do in your nature. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter what program you're in. Now, since fire sparked a creation, you need a creative spark, right? But say you lack an air. If you lack an air and you're not utilizing air, then if the creative spark can't be communicated right, then no one's going to see the creative spark. So you could be the most creative person in the world, but if no one else know it, know it, then it doesn't matter. Now what does air does do for fire? It spreads the fire. So air can help help fire spread its creativity. And what does air represent? Communication. Learning, logic, abstract thoughts, 
So it take the creativity what the fire sign does, which is the fire sign dance, it shines, it heats up. It analyzes that and put it in the right places. So in volatile situations, it can blow down a neighborhood. In good situations, it can help warm or it could be like a barbecue in the air. You know, when you're driving through the neighbor, every, every neighborhood and everybody barbecuing, it smells good, right? That's some form of fire mixture with air. Just naturally, just in nature. So it plays out like that within people. You know what I'm saying? Same for the earth and the water. Just on earth itself, water needs a foundation. It needs something to sit on. It needs to be on something. It needs to, or it won't have no shape. It won't be able to take shape and form. Water signs without, uh, without earth signs can help water signs gain control of their emotions and not to be so volatile with their emotions to the point that they cause uh, eruption of tides which cancer ruled by the moon what does, what does the moon do? control the tides you know what I'm saying? so what does hurricanes and stuff like that naturally ha happens on? and, and why bo bodies of water? just in nature so when a person got too much water planets within them their emotions is volatile so if they don't have if this is a large amount of water and there's no foundation to water, nowhere to, for the water to take shape and form it's going to go crazy let an air person get in their life and start to steer them the wrong way we're going to get a motherfucking hurricane you know what I'm saying Then you got fire, fire with earth, you know fire, now the thing about fire is fire peers through reality. So fire has no sense of reality. So you know the, you know the, uh, the saying you play with fire you get burnt. Fire has no sense of what it's doing. You know what I'm saying? Fire is just being what it's being. So for you to oppose it is at your own will, is at your own cost. Because the fire is going to do what it wants to do anyway. Until it gets put out. Then when it gets put out, it looks for that spark again. But fire technically doesn't even stay in reality. So this plays out in fire signs. I'm going to leave an example of that. I'm never in reality. <laughs> I'm not in reality now. <laughs> I'm just keeping it real. Like, it's not even, you know what I'm saying? So some people may come, people who don't know themselves or something like that, and they got a large amount of fire in their chart, they may come across as thinking they're Superman, or they may come across as thinking they're uh, the best in everything, and, and this one, the competition factor go goes in. And then each fire sign does it differently. Aries may do it in a way that, you know what I'm saying, is ag aggressively trying to show you its way, but it don't look at it like it's aggressive, it just has a lot of pent up passion and it's just so happy to be able to express that to someone and may come across as too exciting. Leo wants to do it, but in a, a relatable way with another. It wants to have someone else tag along or it wants to have someone else look at it at like everything's all right. I, I could take care of this. I'm here now. And it, and it wants you to feel like you need them around. Because if you don't, if you don't feel, if you don't act like you need a Leo around, the Leo not going to come around because they're not going to feel wanted and appreciate it. And they're going to go find some friends who do appreciate their company and friends that they can appreciate that their company. Now, Sagittarius is really not concerned with even relating. You know what I'm saying? So Sagittarius is more of the loner. Sagittarius would rather you let you believe what you believe, and they're going to believe what they believe. And it's not going to become a preachy situation until you want to actually get into dialogue. But a Sagittarius will avoid a dialogue if they see 
you not willing to go as deep into the conversation as they will. Now, with the water, the water absorbs. So, you know, so the water fills the room. The water, it, it has to take shape. So, your situation, your, your situations become water sign situations. You know what I'm saying? And, but just this is how they feel. So, you may think they clingy, but they looking at you like they're just trying to show you that they're here for you. Now, they all do this in separate ways. Pisces. Pisces may do this in a, a loving way and showing a discernment and concerning way. But a Pisces will tell you where you're going wrong in a minute because they feel like they're helping you. And then that Jupiter come in where they feel like they're righteous. Then that Neptune come in where they, where they feel like they're righteous spiritually. You know what I'm saying? So they, they, if you may catch a lot, a lot of negativity from a Pisces, they're not trying, in their heart, they're not being negative. They feel like that's, that's the right thing to do and you need to hear that. So depending on your planets and your signs is how you're going to react to that. Now Scorpios. Scorpios may override the whole fact of showing you, of showing you that they even care. And this is a Scorpio way of showing you that they do care. It's very tricky with Scorpios because they're deep. So what they think is deep may not be deep to other signs. So what happens here is when a Scorpio and, and, and you, you going through a situation, whatever like that, the way a Scorpio going to absorb, they're going to absorb your emotions and take your emotions and take it within and try to dissect and figure out why you're feeling like this before you come to a conclusion. So they may sit there and let you ramble and talk. They may they may start to show actions like they don't care. And the actions for you that they want you to see is they don't want you to think that they don't care. It's like for an example. Say you go into a situation where you want to, you need to cut somebody off, right? And this person is calling you, right? And then you're telling this Scorpio person all this time, and they're just quiet. You're telling them that, man, you're, you're giving them all these reasons of why you're cutting this person off. And then the Scorpio is acting like they don't care, like you whatever like that. This is how they show you that they do care. Because look, it's going to be it's gonna be a time where they cut somebody off in front of you. Or they do something that kind of lead by example. And they kind of, they're trying to show you without telling you how to do it. And this is their way of doing it, but they don't actually want to go through with the conversation and that emotional baggage conversation that comes with the discernment and concerning with, um, with people because they're ruled by Mars and Pluto. And Mars is your intentions and willpower, and Pluto is, is your transformation and willpower. So what happens here is it, it, it starts to feel like certain things that you don't you can't deal with you should be able to deal with because I'm dealing with my my shit by myself and I'm going through crazy shit and you don't see me crying about it so I'm not so what's wrong with you this is how a Scorpio may look at it you know what I'm saying lower Scorpios higher Scorpios to the ego could kind of show discernment a little bit more discernment and concernment for others but they do it in a, a Taurus way instead of kind of they tell you but like tough love or tough luck or or tough love or or just give you stuff and and be there for you uh material the materialistic wise or something like that you know what i'm saying they they take that they they extract that from the opposite tours now cancers cancers you know now what they water and how they absorb with them is they initiate because it's the it's the it's a cardinal so they initiate how they feel. They don't let others try to make them feel other ways. See, now this is the difference between Pisces and Scorpio. And see, I want you, I want you to understand this. All elements may understand each other, but they're still, but each sign is still totally different, and they and they relate to the other elements totally different. And I'm gonna break that down. It's it's still different. Just because you a Cancer or just because you a Gemini and you run into a Libra does not mean off the bat you're going to just click with this person. 
the things you may be into may be the same thing, but the way you go about it is totally different. And depending on the other placements in each other chart, it can totally turn each other off. So don't just run don't just run around here thinking, oh, I'm a Capricorn, so if I go get with a Taurus or another Capricorn, everything's gonna be alright. No. <laughs> no. Every sign is different. Each element, just cause they each element may understand what they're doing, but the, what they're doing is in totally different ways. You know what I'm saying? Every sign is different. You know what I'm saying? So when we get into the cancer, the way they absorb is already. You know what I'm saying? They already have a natural discernment and a natural caring. You know what I'm saying? But they have a shell. And they don't this is the difference between Scorpios and Pisces. They don't let you dictate. They initiate how they feel. And they don't let Pisces a lot of times may let people around them dictate how they should feel about a certain situation. Scorpios at times may brood or or don't really fully let everybody know they stance on a situation until they come to a conclusion because they fixed also. Scorpios is a, is a fixed modality. So it, it may be a little stubborn when it comes to making decisions at times. But Cancer initiates their own feelings. So you can't come or the room energy can't make a cancer change and when it's being opposed trying to make the cancer cha change the cancer put up that shell and let it know let it be known how it feel it initiates its own feelings you know what I'm saying it let the, it let the energy know how it feel it don't absorb the energy in that mat in that way you know what I'm saying now when we get to air air Ugh. you got the libras and the way how they <coughs> play <coughs> into the archetype <coughs> when it comes to communicating. <coughs> when it comes to communicating, see at times, Gemini's, Libras are a lot more sarcastic than Gemini's. You know what I'm saying? Libras are a lot more sarcastic than Gemini's. And Aquarius don't give the Libra the pleasure to be sarcastic because already the Aquarius is going to be on some philosophical stuff of why you even they're going to analyze you and, and talk to you and break you down as a person of why you even a sarcastic person in the first place then the Libra will try to get on that level and try to relate to the Aquarius better and then the Gemini see the Gemini the way they surface their air they surface their air in a, in a, a real um, a real inside type of way it's, 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 it's not so much dealing with relating to others as much as Libra and Aquarius Aquarius may try to analyze others Libra may try to relate to others Gemini sometimes may care less to even understand others because they're too busy